Ryan Garcia just paced up Devin Haney in one of the best boxing matches that I have ever seen. And this is a message to Conor McGregor from the renowned combat sports expert, Dougie, over here in Australia before he runs off to go do some drywalling for the day. Conor McGregor, do not quit doing cocaine. It might be the best base for combat sports. <laughs> Okay, look, seriously, we have got all week to talk about just the, the, the phenomenal upcoming fight night card that we have this weekend over at the UFC Apex, where I think one or two people on that card might actually be coming off a win. I know it's going to be big. So before we get into the predictions for that this week and talking about it this week, let's just have a little bit of fun and enjoy the boxing that happened over the weekend. And also, let's really point out the fact that it was a phenomenal performance from Ryan Garcia, who is a massive cokehead, and that John Jones might be one of the greatest goats in our sport, who is also a massive cokehead, and Conor McGregor is coming back, who is currently on cocaine, and maybe there are lines that can be drawn here, and Conor McGregor should stay exactly where he is. Before all that, the boxing match. Now, I do not watch a lot of boxing. I am renowned for saying that through the live streams. A lot of people like to ask me boxing questions during the live streams, and I constantly have to remind them that I don't watch a lot of boxing. Yesterday, I was doing a chill out live stream, just gaming, just having a good time, chatting with the boys. I got convinced to throw on this boxing match. Now, in my entire life, outside of influencer boxing, I have probably sat down and watched 10 proper boxing matches. That is how disinterested I am in in the sport of boxing, the sweet science of jab, jab, clinch. I don't find it that entertaining at all. But yesterday, during that fight, that was some of the most fun I've had in a long time, probably because we have been sitting through absolute dog's breakfasts UFC Apex cards. It seems like this year we're getting the UFC pay-per-views, which are, but then we are getting UFC fight nights, which is absolute garbage. They are so bad to watch. So going into this boxing match, I literally had zero expectations and watching it, watching Garcia piece up Devin Haney was so fun to watch, but his action was coming in spurts and bursts. And even from someone who doesn't understand the sweet science, it was obvious to see that if he just pressed a little bit harder, he could have finished Devin Haney. But I think it was actually the referee that was carrying Devin Haney through that fight. I don't understand the rules of boxing. Someone needs to put it down there for me. Why the hell can Devin Haney not clinch, but actually throw a double leg, go for a single leg, try and initiate proper MMA grappling, and the referee doesn't deduct a point for that? What is going on there? Apparently, there are these rules in boxing called holding. You're not allowed to hold someone. Well, if you're throwing a clean double leg during a stand-up fight, what are, like what other rules could there be other than that being holding? It really feels like rounds, what was it, seven or eight, Ryan Garcia could have finished that fight. And the referee was literally carrying Devin Haney to the end of that round. We were watching it saying, there's like two minutes left. That's a lot of round left for someone who has already been so badly knocked down and is clearly out of the fight. And somehow he was just able to hug his way throughout that two minutes all thanks to the referee. Very strange. And then of course, there is the idea that boxing is meant to be completely rigged. I don't think Ryan Garcia is someone that they want being the face of boxing, being a boxing world champion. I know he didn't make weight, so he probably can't be a world champion, but they still allowed him to win, which is just wild to me, considering how close the fight was when you look at it round by round. All of this, with all the memes going into it, sort of make you think. Combat sports, right? They're meant to be wild people. They're meant to be people that don't have the best regard for their personal health, their personal safety. They're meant to be just a bunch of savages that go in there and get it done, right? And nothing says a bunch of savages that go in there and get it done more than John Jones. John Jones actually came out on the Joe Rogan podcast. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but John Jones actually came out on the Joe Rogan podcast and talked about during those glory days when he was so good, how he would go out the weekend before and get on it. Go on a proper bender. No regard at all for his health. Really, really mess himself up. Full on hangover, coke, parties, all the good stuff. 
And it was because he wanted to have this excuse in the back of his head that if he did get beaten, they weren't really beating the best him, right? Then John Jones has the drug suspension, sits out for a couple of years, comes back and goes on that second run at light heavyweight. One of the worst runs in John Jones's career. I Look, like, that's going to ruffle some feathers. But listen, hear me out, right? He gets beaten by Dominic Reyes. He got beaten by Dominic Reyes, all right? Fight me about it in the comments. He got beaten by Dominic Reyes. He couldn't finish Anthony Smith. Who the hell can't finish Anthony Smith? And like that win now on paper is not the best win in the world, really, is it? Anthony Smith's career has gone to absolute hell after that. Then there's Tiago Santos. Tiago Santos had one knee for the majority of that fight. And he was still able to put hands on John Jones and, and, and pace John Jones up. So you've got coked up John Jones in his GOAT era versus cleaner John Jones, who's sort of looking like trash. And it goes to show that all the coaching that goes into combat sports, you might just have to throw all that out the window, mate. It might just be go out there and be a bloody savage. If that's what John Jones proved to us in that legacy era, then this is what Garcia is proving to us now, today. Because he looks like an absolute world beater out there. And we have all been on Twitter, right? If you're watching this, you have the internet. You've been on Twitter. You've seen what Ryan Garcia is doing out there. The kid is not mentally stable, nor is he sober. And there's all this talk out there about how Devin Haney beat up Lomachenko. The chat is talking to me, trying to give me all this information so I can understand the fight real quick about just how good Devin Haney is. There's no way Garcia should be able to do what he can do. Chat Hero in the chat was telling me that if Garcia goes out there and beats up Devin Haney, it makes all of boxing look bad. Well, guess what, boxing? It's time to look bad. Jake Paul can go in there and run circles around people in the boxing ring. Now a cokehead can go in there and run circles around people in the boxing ring. Conor McGregor can go in there against one of the greatest to ever do it, Floyd Mayweather, and win the early rounds. You're a bloody joke boxing, all right? And now, speaking of Conor McGregor, let's get right into the point of this video. Conor McGregor, <laughs> seven minutes in, let's get to the point of this video. Conor McGregor needs to be a savage. He's at his best when he is a savage. And there's all this talk going around that if he takes his comeback seriously and really cleans up his act and becomes that sharp shooter again, he can beat Michael Chandler. Michael Chandler is going to have too much, too much riding on this. He sat out for two years with his eyes focused on one dude, one fight. Michael Chandler is going to want to make his Nate Diaz, Dustin Poirier, Habib moment against Conor McGregor and etch himself into MMA history. That is all on the shoulders of Michael Chandler. Whereas Conor McGregor, right, after everything that's happened to him in his career, I honestly believe if he just puts in a good 15 minutes, that will be a good comeback fight for him, a good tune-up fight for him. So Conor McGregor, instead of just locking in and taking this super seriously, get back on the days where you would go on three-day benders and climb a treehouse, right? Call up Cristiano Ronaldo and talk his bloody ear off again. Just bore the shit out of him. Conor McGregor, you tap back in to that savagery. Find that John Jones, Ryan Garcia, Colombian Scarface good shit. Put it all up your nose and get back in there against Michael Chandler and just full on, hey fellas, beat the fuck out of him. Ugh. <laughs> uh. That was a bit of a fun one. I hope we had fun. We had fun with this one. We're going to be getting back to talking about the UFC tomorrow. Do a full card breakdown. Who will win? Losers versus losers. Whoever loses. What? Who will win? Loser versus loser. Loser versus loser. That should be the name of this week's Apex card. The ultimate loser gets kicked the fuck out of the UFC. And then we can move on with some... Pro oh my God, even UFC 302. Pretty soon the UFC will be back rolling in full action and so will we. If you like this video, go ahead, leave a like. If you really like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And of course, I'll see you all in the next one.